last week we discussed about sequence and selection both so today yeah this is the selection uh, and uh, actually did we develop the program to give the output give the discount so i have not added it here i think we have developed the program also right to add uh, to actually find out uh, the discount and uh, display the bill i think we discussed right Yes. Right, okay. So today let's continue with the next one that is the third concept, which is repetition, right? Repetition is a very important concept. So please write down the heading. Repetition or third control structure. Third control structure that is repetition. So in repetition, what we basically do is uh, so under that you can write. So whatever the repeating codes. Oh, based on a certain condition, we do the we follow the same instruction path or instruction flow again and again. Kakari condition ne kak matha, kakari tira ne kak matha. Apni ekam instruction, ekam upadesh, nevata nevata priyatma ka karana hona. So we call that repetition. Okay, please write down right under that the same instruction flow. The same instruction flow is followed again and again until or again based on a condition. The same instruction flow is followed again and again based on a condition. So that is called repetition. That is called repetition. Okay, so as uh, I gave the example in the beginning of the lesson, so you know from grade one to grade eleven, you came sequence order. That means one after the another. After passing grade one, you came to grade two. After passing grade two, then you came to the grade three. Likewise, grade four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Up to grade eleven, you came in sequential order. So that is example for the first control structure, which is sequence. So then, grade eleven, you had to select the subjects. I don't know. Fortunately, or unfortunately, you have selected IT, and some of your friends selected uh, science, maybe maths. Some of your friends selected uh, biology, or some selected commerce, arts, languages. Likewise, technology. So likewise. So you, based on a condition, based on a certain condition, maybe based on your desire. Based on your desire, or based on, or maybe thinking about the future jobs, right? You have selected the subject. So, uh, if your selection is based on future jobs, so you have selected correct path, right? Because in future, so a lot of job opportunities will be there in ICT field, technological field, and uh, this is technological era. So, without any, without big competition, if you want to join. Or if you want to start your career without big competition, and if you want to draw, and if you want to get unlimited salary one day, so this is one of the best fields. So you know Jeff Bezos, so he's the number one in the world now, richest person. So handling Amazon website, and that is ICT, Amazon.com. That is e-business, ICT, and uh, one of the leading career, one of the leading professional. So this uh, Microsoft owner Bill Gates working with ICT. He's also uh, a leading person in the world, and he was number one in one period. Now he's not. Right. So what is the position of Bill Gates now? Is he number one? Number two? Number number one is Jeff Bezos. So what is Bill Gates' position? Have you searched recently? Bill Gates key winner. Okay, that's number two. Number one, Jeff Bezos, Amazon. Bill Gates. Well, we never learned it. Bill Gates has become fourth, right? Bill Gates has become fourth. And fifth is uh, one of your friends. He is uh, Mark Zuckerberg, the developer of Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg is the number five person, right? Likewise, if you are in ICT fields, you are lucky because you have that great opportunities. Because this is ICT era, technological era, so that is your selection. 
so now actually we discuss about selection selection means based on a certain condition you do kind of selection you do kind of selection and repetition so unfortunately in sri lanka most of the students are subjected to repeat subjected to repeat because uh, 300000 students are facing a level examination out of the 300000 only around 30000 get the opportunity to go to the university so what about uh, the remaining 270000 they so most of them are trying to repeat the same thing same class they will come to the revision class they will come to the second chai third chai likewise fortunately there are three attempts otherwise they will try unlimitedly to enter to the university anyway first attempt third attempt second attempt likewise you do the same thing again and again that is called repetition so that is the best way to remember the control structures from grade 1 to grade 11 sequence grade 11 selection and grade 13 you have repetition so but i don't expect the same behavior from you all so get it passed at one go first time itself try to pass the exam with a great result why because uh, even though you don't get a very good result still so you can do something with ict right but i think for ict definitely will get a uh, good pass a or b but the thing is uh, it all depends on the other subjects also because a level you have to pass all three subjects simultaneously all three subjects you have to show the colors so I'm sure that you will get good color for ICT, but uh, you have to sacrifice or you have to do the same for other two subjects to get good grade, right? Then only you will be successful. If even not, if, even if you're not successful in the examination, since you still selected very good subject, you can do many things using ICT. You know what? So I have some children, actually grade six people who comes to my online classes so and they have even started youtube channels and they have some of them have even started earning through youtube and some of them have even started learning earning through youtube so that is part time so what happened when they are doing a levels they will have a well drawn channel well so that is a top rank channel when they are doing a levels so they have started now itself so you can also do the same right you can also do the same so some of these guys actually they are doing really interesting stuff video editing iot and likewise they have started recent new stuff and tech channels right so you can do the same okay let's go to the subject the same instruction flow is followed again and again based on a condition that is called repetition so let's uh follow small let's do a small exercise and uh, so please write down this. Uh, write, uh, draw a flow chart. Flow chart. Draw a flow chart. And write down pseudocode to print first 10 odd numbers the codes to print first 10 odd numbers starting from one right python code to get this done right draw a flow chart and write down pseudocode to print first 10 odd numbers starting from one and write python code to get this done right so can you start now? So draw the flow chart. So repetition, basically, unlike selection, the selection you have like both ways. You have yes path and no path. Here also you have yes and no path, both. But in the repetition, what will happen? These arrows will flow either in yes path or no path, but that arrows will come again and uh, point into the beginning. So that is the difference. So you can just give a try. I'll give you some time to give a try. And after that, I'll assist you to do the same. Right? Just start any program should be started. No? Just give a try first. Take only two minutes or three minutes and give a try. OK, uh, let me also start while you are doing. You can just see whether you have done correctly. To save the time, I'll also start. 
write only so here see what's happening draw a flow chart and write pseudo code to print first 10 odd numbers first 10 odd numbers now you have to think the so this is repetition or it's given as repetition now you know you have to repeat the same thing so what you have to repeat what you have to see, repeat monadwala repeat kar no one yes netuli what do you have to repeat? Yes, Nathan. 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 Yes, Yes, Nathan. Yes, Nathan. Yes, Yes, Nathan. 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 Yes, the first 10 numbers, no? first 10 numbers, you have to maintain a counter. Right? You have to maintain a counter and you have to check the number uh, is odd or even. Is there any, any mechanism to do that without checking? Without checking, is there any mechanism to generate odd numbers? If you start, for an example, think that if you uh, start from 1, you have started from 1. Just number 1. What is the next odd number? After number one, what is the next odd number? Three. Three. What is the ne next odd number? Five. Five. So is there any pattern? Yes, sir. What is the pattern? Plus one. Plus one or plus two? Plus two plus two. One plus two, two plus two. Sorry, three plus two. Five plus two is seven. Seven plus two is nine. Nine plus two is eleven. Likewise, you can. So then, so in this case, do you want to check whether the number is odd or even? Oh, it's already, all the numbers are odd. What do you think? No if you need follow to check. the same pattern, all the numbers are odd, no? No need to check even. So likewise, when you are doing, you will find sometimes easy ways or shortcuts. So if first number is one, let's say, let's apply the same mechanism. If first number is one, so let's say let's say the number is one. If first number is one, so then even without checking the checking this odd or even, what you can do is you can print the number. Print the number. So let's say printing is output. So you can say print the number. So next odd number can be generated by adding two to this, this number. So next odd number can be they uh, can be obtained by adding two to number equal number plus two. Adding two to the two to this number. Then uh, flow of logic, you can say the flow of logic is this. First, you have to start from one. And then you have to print the number. And after printing the number, you have to add two to this. And after adding two to this, you can go and do something. That is the second thing that we mentioned. That is to maintain a counter. That is to maintain a counter. You have to do this 10 times. Right? You have to do this 10 times. So what you can do is you can just maintain a counter. So let's say number is one and the counter is also one. Then you can check whether if uh, this counter is less than, if counter is less than, uh, let's say you have less than or equal to 10. You have to find the first 10. Counter is less than or equal to 10. First 10 odd numbers. If the counter is less than or equal to 10 only, if counter is less than or equal to 10 only, if this is years, what you can do is you can print the odd number. So first you can see C is, okay. first you can see C is one, C less than 10, so print the number at two. And then you can again go and check. Again, you can go and check. And point to this one. Uh, 
after adding two, you can again go and check whether this, so let's say, whether this count is less than, you can again go and check whether this count is less than um, 10. This is the way. So anyway, if you are want to do that, you have to increase the count after printing this number, that pass part is missing. But you have, what you have to do is you have to increase the count after printing one number. That can be done by adding one to this. Now C equals C plus, C equals C plus one, add in one to this. So then see how data flows, how data flow happens. Okay, so this is your side. This is your side and you have no side as well. Your side, no fill and no outline and you have the no side too. It is here. If it is no, that means counter is not less than 10. That means your work is over. So what you can do is after finishing your work, you can finish the program. Okay. So there are various ways to write this, right? There are various ways to write this. You can follow one of these methods. So one is you can check whether the number is odd. So that is additional step. While count, while maintaining the count, you have to check whether the number is odd or even. But this is more simpler. You can just, without even checking, you can print the numbers because you know by adding two, next odd number can be generated. So this is stop. So now let's see how this is running. Okay, let's go to the beginning. Start. Start. Number is one, Z is one. Number is one, Z is one. C is one, so you can say C less than zero is true, yes. Then it will come down, print the number. That is this number one, add in two, now it's three. C is C plus one, now C's value will be two. Two is less than 10, print the number, it is three, right? So likewise, you can see this will be repeating. Understood the logic or not? Any doubts, any issues? Yes. So if it is not clear, please ask, right? It seems that uh, you are not talking means you are, you cannot understand this. Right? Okay. So I assume that you cannot understand. So I'm going to assist you by using a table. So num and then C. Then I'm checking C is less than or equal to 10. Then I'm printing the number. Then I'm telling number equal number plus two and I'm telling Z equals C plus one. C equals C plus one. Okay, now answer me these questions. Then I can help you understanding the logic, right? Answer these questions. What is num initially? Sit me. What is num initially? What is the value of num? One. What is the number uh, value of C? One. That is also one. Uh, C less than or equal to 10, is it true or false? True. It, it is yes, it is true. Print the num. What is the value of num? It is one, so one will be printed. Num equal num plus two. What is the value of num equal num plus two? Num is currently one, one plus two is? Three. Three. C equals C plus one. C is currently one. C plus one is? Two. Two. Okay, next round. So, Tiasha, so try this. What is num now, Tiasha? Value of num? Num here then. So, see this, right? Me table like a balanda, then alutma value like a num is called num plus two. So, what is the num now? Tiasha, can you hear me? Mama, I know that today. Hello. Yes, sir. 
कहनाने द माव ओके मटक किया न बाला न वैल्यू वेक नाम वाला वैल्यू वेक किया न कोटिया देंग वैल्यू वेक किये मेरा राउंड एक घील लेती नाम वाला वैल्यू वेक किये व्हाट इस द वैल्यू ऑफ नाम यस ओके सीम्स दैट शी इज अ लाइन इज नॉट क्लियर ओके नेट मी सो व्हाट इस द वैल्यू ऑफ नाम थ्री सी टू यस सी इज अ लेस देन टेन यस टू इज लेस देन प्रिंट नाम प्रिंट नाम थ्री नाम में इक्वल नाम प्लस टू Five. Then C equals C plus one. Three. Right. C equals C plus one. Still. Okay. Tiasha, can you hear now? Then again, what? Yes, sir. Okay. So, can you tell the value of norm? Then K and B are value with norm. Make a key there. Five. Five. Right. Okay. So C will be the value of C is three. Yeah, it's three. Oh. Then it is, yes. Print num five will be printed. Num equal num plus two. So one is the value. C equal C plus one. Four is the value. Now you can understand. No? Now I think you can understand. Now you can increase this. So now num is seven, c will be four. This is years, and print num will be seven will be printed. This will be nine, and this will be five. Next round, nine will be printed. C will be five. C is c years less than years. Nine will be printed. Nine plus two is eleven, and c is six. Okay. Now you can fill the fill this right. Now you can fill this. So after. Draw in the flow chart. Please fill this. This is called dry run. Dry run. Okay, lucky. Now, we may have to get it. Dry run is it's not actual running. So you are running in the book because in the exam you can't run the program. You have to run in the book. So that is called dry run. Okay. So until here, so six. Now eleven will be printed, and this will be six. And six is less than ten years. Nine. Eleven will be printed. Nami is thirteen, and this is seven. Now this is thirteen, and C is seven. This is years, and thirteen will be printed. Will be fifteen and eight. So then fifteen and nine. Sorry, fifteen and eight. It is years, and fifteen will be printed. Fifteen, nine here. So then, seventeen will be printed here, and nine is the value. Nine is less than ten years, and seventeen will be printed, and nineteen is the value now. Now it is ten. So when it comes to ten, its num is now nineteen, and this will be ten, and ten is le not less than but equal. This is years, so nineteen will also be printed, and. Twenty-one is the value now. C equals C plus one is eleven. So now num is twenty-one. That and C is eleven now. Whether C no, this is no. So the program will stop here. So in the print you will get these numbers: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. These ten numbers will be printed in the program. But when you terminate the program, what is the value of C? When you terminate the program, what is the value of C? C two. When you terminate the program, what is the value of C? Program का नाम आता है C वाले value के किधर C two? Eleven. It's eleven, right? So these kind of questions can be asked in the exam, right? Exam में के में के output टेक वितरक कहाँ नहीं तो समाता हाँ ना बोला When this is terminated, what is the value of C? C is eleven. When this is terminated, what is the value of num? It is twenty-one. What is the last value that is going to be printed? That is nineteen. 
So you can directly answer all the questions by looking at the table. This is called dry run, right? Okay, you can write, you can draw the flow chart and also the dry run. And after that, please draw the dry run flow chart. Then what you have to do is please draw the pseudo code, write the pseudo code and also the Python code to do this. Right. I'll give you few minutes. So please do this, draw the flow chart and write the dry run and then write the pseudo code and actual code. Okay, you can do now. Yes. Can you just send it?